Hi, this is Hitesh and welcome to Java Master Course. I understand that you have mastered a couple of languages like C, C++ or maybe a bit others, but still you are very intimidate about the Java. I'll make sure that this course will glide you so smoothly that you won't even realize when you have started creating application for yourself as well as your client. But before that, I would really like you to move in the history lesson of the Java. I understand that you are quite interested in the programming, but Java is having such a marvelous footprints out there in this history that these are really need to be cared of. So let's take a quick look on the Java history. So the Java was not originally named as Java. It was started as a green project and it got started in the 1991. Then the project got modified and got his name as Oak. There's a bit history about this name as well. The developers might say that that the developers who originally created the Java were seeing a lots of oak tree in their surroundings and that's why the project was named as oak. But again, the history got molded out and the project was named to Java, perhaps with a lot of coffee that the developers were drinking and who knows what the truth is, but still it's being a myth out there and I, I assume that it's the truth out there. Then there was a first public release in 1995 and this was the original Java that came out into the world. The Java was having a one major goal and that goal was write once, run anywhere. You don't need to compile your source code again and again, write once and just use, the, use your softwares on any machine like Mac, Linux, Windows, or any other operating system. The term was really made popularized in the 1995 that write once and run anywhere if you have the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine. The Java history is quite a bit out there in the timeline. The first release was made in 1995 and in the early days, the release was very subsequent. They were very fast in happening. In 1996, the first version of JDK, the Java Development Kit, was introduced. This was really a modernizing world and a lot of things got changed after 1996. Then in 1997, the JDK version 1.1 was first released. It was really a drastic improvement in the Java. A lot of terms like inner classes were introduced, the Java beans were introduced, the JDBC and API for talking to the database was introduced. Then a lots of RMI versions for talking, a lot of things were introduced. The reflection was pretty a strong thing for making the object orientation approach a bit stronger. Then in 1998, the J2SE 1.2 version was introduced. Now this was a bit confusing at that time. The J2SE, the Java 2 standard edition. Now it was not a bit different from the Java. It was just as standard edition and the two after the J stuck for so many years. It introduced a lot of things like Swing Graphical API for building out the desktop application was introduced. Then the JIT compile time, Java plugins for making the applications to work for a cross browser platform and a lot of collection frameworks were introduced out there. After that, the J2SE 1.3 version was released. Now, this was really a drastic improvement from J2SE 1.2 to 1.3. And after that, the J2SE, when the 2 stuck after the J, a lot of things moved like this way. The updations were out there in the name of version in the, after the decimals, like 1.2, 1.3, and so on. And the 1.3 version was having a lot of things like hotspot JVM, which was nothing else. Uh, you can simply call it as uh, advanced Java virtual machine from the previous versions. Sound API was introduced, which was pretty good feature at that time. And a lot of debugging were made simpler in this version. After that, the major subsequent release was J2SE 1.4 and 1.5. So let's talk first of all about 1.4. In the 1.4, a regular expression powerful implementation was done in the Java. Now you can find the strings and a lot of things you can do with the regular expressions. Apart from that, IPv version 6 support, logging API, XML support, and some cryptographic and security implementation were being done in the Java. 
After that, the J2SE 5.0 was introduced. Now, it is also known as 1.5 or 5.0. It just means the same. But really, the developer realized, hey, we cannot move out there in just 1.3, 1.4 and so on. So we have to make some changes out there. They decided that 1.5 version will also be known as 5.0. And after that, all the releases were like that, like 6.0, 7.0 and so on. The version 5.0 was really the powerful change in the syntax. After this version, none of the syntax of the Java actually got changed. So things got stuck around after the 5.0. It was having some generic things, some a lot of changes in the enumerations, variable argument, and especially for each loop was there. And it was really an enhancement from the previous looping things. And after that, the simple thing got introduced in the 2006 J2SE6, but it was not a much drastic change out there as compared to J2SE5. It was just having a, some simple performance based upgradation as well as graphical user interface upgradation, but not a drastic at all. And after that, the Java got stuck around. No releases were out there, uh, drastic releases, small updates and maintenance updates were out there. But then the history got changed in 2010. In 2010, Oracle bought Sun Microsystem. And along with the Sun Microsystem, their entire projects were also being bought, including the Java. And after that, Oracle was kind of a god for Java. It tried to build the popularity in the Java. And finally, in 2011, J2SE 7 was introduced. It was really the version which we are looking into the course. It's having the string in switch. It's, it's having the try catch improvements and a lot of improvement things were being done in this J2AC 7 version. We'll be focusing on this seventh version in this entire course. Now, history cannot be completed without taking a call about the future upgrades. And in the future, I'm expecting in this 2014 as the time of the recording that the J2AC 8 version is about to come. It's having a lot of good features like Lambda functions and all these things, but don't get scared off. We are not going to cover Lambda expressions because since it's not yet been introduced, but soon I'll update the course as soon as the J2SE is out there. So that's all is a just bit history about the Java. Now let's take on to the new movie and find out what's out there for you. And don't forget to drop me an email. Thank you so much for watching.